Lee, welcome to our Technical Corners. Uh, it's uh, fascinating finding out a little bit more about Starag, you know, from small components up to, you know, 350 tonne components, you know. So um, one thing that brings all this together, and I, I want to reflect on it, is uh, IPS, uh, Integrated Production Solutions. Um, everybody in the industry is talking about, uh, let's say, Industry 4. But what does it actually mean to Starag? And more importantly, what does it actually mean to your customers? Well, Mark, we've, um, we've been developing Industry 4 technologies for, uh, for many years now. And we have um, it's a modular system called IPS, and that stands for Integrated Production Solutions. Uh, and this contains several different technologies, uh, and it can be aligned with... Um, customers specific requirements so for our customers the message is, is simple it's uh, it's maximizing profit in metal cutting or other or other materials uh, such as composites and ceramics uh, and making their production more safe so if this is uh, more modular from Starag, uh, can you take me through some of the options that you can offer to customers yeah, sure. Um, if we start, uh, if we start with data capture, you've probably heard the phrase um, "Internet of Things." Now, this is a, a cloud-based solution that helps the helps customers or users analyze and optimize the process to increase productivity, and they can use this by capturing masses of data, which they use intelligently, and that's the key uh, to optimize the process. And then this data can be stored in the cloud. Or if people are concerned about security, they can store the data locally. So how do you ensure that when the uh, setup of the machine in the customer's facility uh, is correct uh, and you walk away, does that mean that it maintains its accuracy as well as the performance and the life? Well, this is um, that's, that's a really key question there, Mark. We, we have um, one of the modules or the options is called uh, Machine Qualification System, MQS. This is where we, we, we measure the machine and we compare it against its fingerprint module. And, and, and the fingerprint is where we collect the data. We measure, we measure the machines and we collect the data when the machine's built before it leaves the plant. And what we do then is, is when the machine's at the customers, we can automatically remeasure and compare this data and then inform the customer about the machine condition um, and where necessary we display the corresponding uh, maintenance information on the HMI um, and, and, um, and in some cases we can actually allow the machine to automatically make corrections or we can use this um, for preventative maintenance reasons as well. So this can significantly reduce maintenance costs and, and it guarantees the customers that the machines are process capable. So the fact is the machines are actually uh, taking all the data uh, and obviously uploading that. But, you know, we are human. Uh, mistakes do happen with operators uh, and, and crashes do happen, I'm afraid, on machines. Um, is there any way to avoid this through the Starag systems? Well, when a machine hits something physically, it stops, but the control knows it's in the wrong place. It thinks it should be over here. So it winds up the drives, puts more pressure into the machine. And these are powerful machines. So this is what causes the, uh, the serious damage. So we, we have a, a, a collision avoidance option that, that stops the machine in a fraction of a second in the event of a crash. So you may break an insert or a tool, but you won't seriously damage the machine. But well, better still with IPS, uh, we, we talk about a MPS, which is a machine production system. And this, this module um, monitors production in real time and, and it protects both the people and the machine, for example, against um, incorrect operations and collisions. So th this module itself can save customers a lot of money as it can avoid an expensive crash if the operator makes a mistake. Well, that's very important, isn't it? And like you say, it, you know, it's a, it's a very cost-effective measure. But um, so, so when the machines are actually cutting material, then are the machines actually monitoring the process, Lee? 
always and, and, and continuously as well. So we've, we've got um, within the machine structure itself, we've got many different sensors uh, across the complete machine range. So these could be um, these could be physical displacement sensors, temperature sensors, vibration sensors, for example, on a headstock or spindle. Uh, uh, and all of these sensors, wherever they are in the machine, uh, deliver valuable live data during machining. So the machine then uses this data to make um, make intelligent decisions to enhance the machining process. So a good um, a good example of this for IPS is what we call PQS, Process Quality Control. Um, and this is a chatter monitoring system that warns of dangerous vibrations when machining. So, um, so when employed, the, these technologies deliver the highest quality levels while still allowing the, the lowest cycle times because they're, they're, they're live and they're in process. Um, and this doesn't risk damaging the machines and it doesn't result in poor quality either on, on, on the components. That, that's uh, that, that's interesting, actually, because uh, you know you're saying that the the, the machines are integrated uh, throughout the um, different machines that you uh, offer into the marketplace and technologies, uh, you know, which obviously uh, offer flexible manufacturing cells as well from Starag. Can can you give me an example uh, and explain IPS? Uh, it, so obviously we get this across to engineers. What it actually means. Well, as, as, as you guys know, Mark, we, we do a lot of different um, automated systems and integrated systems, FMS systems. So probably a good example to show you would be um, a flexible manufacturing system within an aerospace company. And it comprises of six fairly large machines, Ecospeed F2060, so six meter table. And these machines are served by a rail guided pallet shuttle system. Um, and and the, the levels of productivity from this cell are unmatched um, and, and efficiency. So uh, at the at the heart of the cell, uh, the IPS uh, integrates with a cell controller, which is a Starag developed cell controller. And this um, this control mechanism monitors the machines. It guides the, and controls the the entire production process. Uh, you can plug into it any any way you want and get data. And we also uh, in, integrate together with a with a higher level uh, EIP system as well when when, when required. So so the cell controller um, allows uh, complete digital transparency, lots of visual data uh, um, on on the HMIs that, that that's that's there for the operators, and lots of data behind the scenes for for other departments as well. And what this does is it allows the customer to run lights out 24 seven with huge productivity. Um, and we're told this is the reason why this particular customer's won a significant amount of additional new business. Yeah, so it's all about uh, capacity to, to serve the marketplace, isn't it? Definitely, and automation is a big key of that. And we're obviously seeing that for the last sort of four or five years growing in, in the UK market. Um, so what, what does this new technology actually look like to the operators then, Lee? Well, do you know what, Mark? It doesn't matter whether you're the managing director, the cell manager, or the cell operator. You, you can have data from the cell presented in a way that's that's tailored for your your own requirements. So it could be on your smartphone, could be on a tablet, could be could be on the system itself. On the, on the machines themselves, what we've done is we've uh, developed a new HMI or human machine interface, as as people call it. And that now has a touch screen uh, with a lot more functionality than a traditional HMI. Um, so th th this is great because it it's like a split screen on a computer. So you've got your normal data for your machine on one side. And then on the other side, you could have a, a, a live camera stream. You could have instructions for setting up tooling information, uh, maintenance. Uh, we, we can force data down to the screen to tell the operators exactly what they need to do that day. On, on the machines um, and feedback from the customer side is really positive. 
Yeah, and I'm sure every system is quite unique to the customer as well. But, uh, you know, in a global market like we're, we're at, you know, uh, lower carbon footprints, the environment are very importantly uh, and a big driver for the future. Um, and in you know in in light of the recent global uh, changes, uh, does Starag have any environmental friendly functions on on your machines that actually helps with this uh, low carbon footprint? Yeah, for sure. Uh, Starag have been offering um, energy saving functions as a standard on ma many machining centres uh, since I joined ten years ago. Um, so what we call uh, efficiency control as, as a number of different measures, Mark, um, th these, these could be um, simple things like reduction in friction um, due, due to really high quality drive elements. There could be energy recovery systems like KERS on a Formula One car, where as a, as, as a spindle decreases and we put the brakes on, we, we capture the energy created. Or it could be as simple as only pumping the coolant around when it's required rather than on older machines where coolant's pumped all the time. So this is, uh, they call this a holistic effect in group, and, and this reduces the energy consumption by more than 20% on its own. Um, to customers, uh, and more importantly in, in financial terms, on, on, on a, on a medium-sized machining centre uh, running 24 hours a day, five days a week, customers can expect to save around 15,000 euros, as an example, in ongoing running costs um, on a machine that runs lights out. So. This is um, it's a big ongoing saving, and it also ticks the box, more importantly, for the environmentally friendly machines and, and, and the directives that are coming out of large companies to be environmentally friendly. Well, I've been very fortunate to, to uh, have known Starag and, and visited many of your factories, and it shows that you, you know, Starag are very advanced into Industry 4. And I suppose it's another e perfect example of your, your, your Star or the Starag philosophy, engineering precisely what you value. Lee, yet again, uh, yeah, IPS system obviously has given us a, a big insight into what that actually means to customers. Uh, another part of the journey. Thanks very much for your time today.